My name is Christy Brown. I head the Metabolism and Cancer Laboratory at the Hudson Institute and I'm currently funded by an NBCF Novel Concept Award. So I did my PhD in Canada and the focus of my thesis was understanding the regulation of hormones during ovulation. So it was about the time when I started thinking about what I wanted to do later on, so what kind of research I was really interested in, that my Aunt Ruth was diagnosed with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. So it was at that time that I decided that I may be able to make a bigger difference in women's lives if I focused my research on breast cancer. So that's when I started looking for the best lab in the world that did hormone and breast cancer research and that's when I moved to Australia to work with Professor Evan Simpson. So my lab focuses on understanding the relationship between obesity and breast cancer. And we're especially interested in understanding why estrogens are increased in the breast fat of obese women compared to normal weight women. Now this research has led us to identify new therapeutic strategies. So we think that we can target breast fat estrogen production instead of estrogen production throughout the body and this would lead to safer therapies for breast cancer. And that's actually where this project that's funded by the NBCF came from is through our interest uh, in a hormone that's produced by the stomach that stimulates appetite normally and we know that this hormone is decreased in obesity. So we were thinking, well, is this hormone in some way involved in uh, regulating estrogens? And what we found was that ghrelin, this hormone produced by the gut, stops estrogen production and it does it uh, in a breast-specific manner. So the nature of what we do is that we get results from our research all the time. And what's really exciting is that within the first six months of this Novel Concept Award that started last year, we were able to show that yes, this gut-derived hormone was able to stop estrogen production specifically within the breast and have no effect on bone. And this was really exciting to us because we knew that if you inhibit it in the breast but not in the bone, uh, it's likely to have uh, less side effects than uh, the anti-estrogen therapy that's currently uh, used to treat hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Now since then we've been able to show that we can also stop uh, tumor growth independent of effects on estrogen production and we expect that within the next six months, so by the end of this particular project, uh, we'll be able to have done studies in preclinical models, so in animal models of breast cancer, to confirm our findings uh, in the laboratory. you'll get the same answer for everyone when it comes to asking about challenges in research. And the number one challenge facing all researchers, not only breast cancer researchers at the moment, is funding. Um, it's extremely difficult to obtain funding and I think as a consequence of that, uh, we're at risk of losing many talented breast cancer researchers and also slowing down the progress of breast cancer research going forward. Luckily, uh, there are foundations like the NBCF that support new ideas and this grant in particular, the Novel Concept Award, has been instrumental in us developing these new ideas that wouldn't otherwise be funded uh, by traditional funding agencies. Uh, NBCF funding is critical to me achieving my research goals, especially when it comes to projects like these ones. So in this case, we're exploring a really novel idea that you know this gut hormone could potentially be used as a breast cancer therapeutic. Uh, so th no other funding agencies uh, really support that type of research. This particular grant also came at a time where funding was extremely difficult. Um, and if it hadn't been for NBCF funding, I would have been able to take on a new PhD student who's an extremely keen breast cancer researcher who will make a great independent scientist in the future, as well as keep my lab functioning at the highest level. So NBCF funding really came at a time that allowed us to pursue these new ideas and keep the research going. So when I tell people that I'm a breast cancer researcher, uh, they usually ask me whether we've found a cure yet. And that's the majority of people, and I'd like to be able to say yes. Uh, I think what I can say is that we're managing the disease better, and the research that's coming uh, out of breast cancer research laboratories is really going in the direction uh, for us to be able to say that one day we will uh, be able to cure the disease. So that's extremely exciting to us. 
To NBCF supporters, I would say your contribution is invaluable. Every little bit you do counts, and it really makes a difference not only to the research, but will make a difference to women's lives in the future.